Hi, I'm Lauren Parker for Expert Village, and um, we're talking about cleaning out some of the dust and dirt that builds up in circuit boards. Um, if it's an older circuit, chances are it's going to get pretty dirty, and there is a good way to clean them and a bad way to clean them. And uh, the first is just if you open something up like this, um, like this drum machine, and you find a lot of dust or you find some grime. Eventually that grime, let's just balance it there, eventually that grime can sort of lead to problems, especially if it's on the pin of one of these chips. And the trick is just not to be intimidated by all of the parts here. You don't have to know how this stuff actually works to give it a good cleaning. And I'm just going to dip a Q-tip. Um, if you need to clean a large area, you can just use a lint-free cloth. But if you dip a Q-tip in a little bit of denatured alcohol, and just wipe up the areas. It tends to be the best solvents. And if I put it over electronic components, it's not really going to be a problem. I can clean off these semiconductors and leads of things with the alcohol. And it picks up a lot of the dirt, and um, it doesn't leave behind any residue. And of course, that's the problem with uh, water. Water does not evaporate as quickly as alcohol. And then if you get rubbing alcohol from the pharmacy, chances are that it's going to leave behind a little bit of film. That isopropyl alcohol is not, quite going to, is not going to be quite as good as the denatured alcohol, which is available at paint stores. This stuff is as close to 100% alcohol as you can get. They say denatured, they add a little bit of poison to it so you can't drink it because it's illegal to sell 100% um, saturated alcohol at a paint store, of course. But basically, you just every once in a while, as things age, as they get to be 10 or 20 years old, you need to open it up and get some of that grime out of there, especially where there are switches and contacts where dirt from people's fingers are going to get into these grooves and are going to make clicking sounds or popping sounds. So I could go in there with a Q-tip pretty easily and just kind of pick up some of the dirt in there. Then the other way I do things is if I find one component like a switch, like an older style switch like this that really is in bad shape, I actually remove it from the circuit board. Here I have an ultrasonic cleaner and it has a little bit of distilled water in it and I've added just a little bit of a cleaner to it. I'm just using simple green. And this is actually an ultrasonic cleaner that is intended for jewelry. It's a lot cheaper than the ones that you buy that are intended specifically for electronics, but it does the same job. And when I turn it on, you can see it creates ripples and vibrations in the water. If you leave it in there for about 10 minutes, it will agitate the component and um, create bubbles in the cleanser, which allows it to uh, clean off all the grime that you can't get to. It'll get into all the little nooks and crannies and clean it where we can't reach with Q-tips.